Hey, you all remember this fun guy. Well, remember how he couldn't go to the vet's office because he scared the bejesus out of everybody? Well, guess what we did? Not only did we go to the vet's office, but we got him his shots. And this is how we did it. So I did not get him to love the vet. I did not get him to love the experience of getting shots. That, frankly, would take years or months to build up that behavior where he is so comfortable he can interact with the vet and he's cool with them giving him shots. What we did was we built a tolerance through this routine of obedience. And what that is is I have this stack of place boards and I'm going to place you on top of them and you're going to have to wait until you're getting released to get your toy. Now here, you can see that that nervous eye contact. This guy didn't even let me behind him to evaluate him. He did not want, he does not like to be touched, especially from behind. So what we did was small steps. First, I just wanted to get behind him. Then I wanted to touch him. Then I wanted to pick him up. Now I'm messing with his feet. And he's got to tolerate all that. And he's got to tolerate all that. And if he does, he gets his toy. And now, throwing the muzzle into the mix, again, I'm not going to stress him out. I don't want to chase his head. He's got to be calm. He's got to be focused. Because if I'm stressing him out with this muzzle, then I'm going to be stressing them out with the whole experience. These, This all matters. So if you are struggling with your dog and getting them to the vets or anything, this might be a good routine for you to practice so that you can at least get evaluated or get shots where your dog can be successful in this instead of avoiding it. So again, this is just a routine we're doing. I'm not, he doesn't love the vet's office. He doesn't love getting shots, but he's able to ignore it. And how we're doing that is one, a solid place command. He's got to stay on there. He's got to face me. And what I'm also doing is I'm using this toy to keep him focused away from what we're doing behind him. So that toy's in front of him. And if he can tolerate me touching him, if he can tolerate somebody coming up behind and giving him a shot, that's what he gets in the end. And it's, it's, he understands that, but he's got to tolerate what we're doing and he's got to wait until I release him. So we're doing this again, small steps to build this big sequence. Now we're bringing my fiance into the mix to be our little mock vet tech. And he's got to ignore that again, get on this place, ignore what's going on behind you. There is a toy in front of you. And what I'm also not doing is I'm not I'm not squeezing him hard. I'm not forcing him to be there. That would just stress him out even more. What we're doing is we're putting him up on here. I'm having him face away from that person and being able to do that pretty easy. And then I'm going to just pick up your back end. I'm going to touch you. This little handling is able to keep me a little more in control of his back end. So when someone actually gives him a shot, he's not you know, twitching and the needle's not moving. Now, now we got the person even closer and touching him. You got to tolerate that. But then I, we do it again. I have that person leave. My fiance leaves, comes back, does it again. Hey, if you can tolerate that, I'm going to release you. You get your toy. And when he does get his toy, he gets a play time. Now, here, this is a lot more like the vet's office. We come inside. It's enclosed. This is different. Just like the muzzle being on is different. Being in an enclosed environment, that's even more stressful for a lot of these dogs. So we're practicing it in my house where you go to place. There's a person behind you turn your back to them. Ignore what they're doing. Now we come with a pencil, give them a little shot. This is the closest I can get, but this is pretty much the whole thing he needs to do. And this is exactly how we were able to then go to the vet's office and get his shot. So again, small stepping stones, small pieces to this pattern and sequence that he needed to be able to tolerate to be able to then go to the vet's office and get the shots. And this is exactly what it looked like. Now, I didn't take video because it was more important and professional for me to worry about my client and him. So I didn't get video, but this is exactly what we did. The vet was even on the other, or in the open doorway. And I had this stack of place boards in the room and his mom was in the other doorway. And we walked him through the lobby, nice and calm, onto the place, facing away from the vet. The vet was even able to touch his heart and examine his heart and then gave him the shots in the butt. And then he was able to have a good time leaving the vets and playing.